video we're going to demonstrate how to alter our backed up video from our eDigital Deals D1 hardware compressed server to prove that our player software does not play altered or edited video. This feature in the software is commonly known as watermarking. Okay, so first we're in our backed up folder where we keep the player software and all the DLLs to run the player software. It's a standalone application. And this is the folder where we keep our camera. Um, our camera files. So these are direct backups from the server and right now I'm going to go ahead and play them for you. See it's just uh, we got two files in here they are mp4 h dot or yeah h.264 video files and what we're doing now is we're proving that these are direct backups because the player software will play both of these video clips. Okay and now we're going to minimize this and go to our software bundle that we downloaded. We downloaded version 6.73 and what we're going to do is go to our tools folder right here and make sure this this will work with this has or the tools folder is included with any version of the hybrid NDVR software. So we go to tools and then we go to our converter folder right here h.264 to AVI converter version 2.0 and you're going to see a lot of files here. These are files that need to be installed in a certain order and the order is listed in the README version right here. Let me just drag this over. And so we're going to do Format Converter first. Format Converter 2.0. going to install this. We're going to change the directory to E. Uh, that's only for this specific computer. You don't have to change it to E. You can leave it as C if you want. We just don't have any room on C on this computer. Next, we're going to uh, do the FFD show, which is right here. We're going to accept the terms, and again, we're going to change it to E. You don't have to change it to E. We're only changing it to E on this computer. That's finished, and the next on the list is Win Encoder 9, or WM Encoder 9, also known as Windows Media Encoder 9. Uh, accept the terms, change it to E, and then we're just going to do next through all of this stuff. finish and last but not least we're going to do a Windows Media Player Filter version 4.9.8 install finish and if you're running Windows XP you're gonna have to um, follow the next steps but if you're running Windows 7 you should be fine now we're going to go to the format converter and we have a couple tabs but we're going to change it to AVI first we have a couple tabs we have source and we're going to add our source files so this these will be the files that we backed up directly from the DVR go here back up camera 8 and back up this one and only back up one at a time and then back up the next one and these will be changed to AVI and we're going to choose our destination folder um, it's always going to be the same as your so source folder so they're going to be where your original files are at as well and we're going to hit this giant fat get start convert button right here to get everything going it shouldn't take too long we're already done now we're going to go see if we can view the files file rather and it's right there it has a giant output .avi at the end of it so that's our converted file we're going to go ahead and we're going to open it up should be opening it up with VLC to prove that the file is now converted so now the file is playing on VLC where previously it wouldn't as H.264 
we're going to, going to go ahead and open up our movie maker and edit this video. Um, just to, we didn't do it earlier, but just to prove that these files don't play on VLC, the direct backups, the ones that haven't been changed. So you open it up and it doesn't play. Let's try opening it up from VLC itself. That was the wrong folder. Um, file backup. We're going to open this one. And see, it still doesn't open. So our direct backups don't open. They only open in player. But our converted one does open in VLC. So now we're going to add the videos. and it even plays on Windows Movie Maker. So now we're going to add a caption just to edit the text and we're going to call it test edit for watermarking demo. And we're going to save the project rather export the project and we're going to save it as a WN WMV. And we're going to change the name to camera 08 parentheses 08 dot WMV and it's going to save it. And the video file is now done. So we're going to go ahead and click, should click close and open it through the Windows Explorer. No, no. Then we're going to go ahead and open up the w WMV in VLC. It still plays, and then you see our little edit right here. Test edit for water watermarking demo. So it is edited. We're going to pause it and we're going to convert it right back to H.264 in uh, VLC. So we're going to click Add right here and choose our edited video, which is this. And then we're going to convert it to H.264. And we're going to choose where to save it camera 0808.mp4, save. Uh, make sure the correct settings on this are right. We don't want audio. And we want to do the D1 resolution. Okay, start. And just converted it. So we're going to go ahead and open it in VLC. See, it's the MP4 file and it's playing in VLC, which it shouldn't be doing. So we're going to go ahead and click exit. And now we're going to try and play it in. Or yeah, play it with our player software. We have to paste it into here first. And player.exe. And where'd it go? Oh, it's at the bottom. Um, and then we're going to select the edited video, which is this one. And hit play. Or double click it. And we get an error. So this proves that after we edited the video, that the player software can't play the H.264 video because it's not the original copy. It's been edited. 